Right, so I came across this、uh, project on Upwork, and I thought this could be a pretty good exercise to get some hands-on experience writing Python code. Right, so the project name is going to be Reformat JSON to CSV, and the、uh, project is basically twenty、uh, dollars. So if you can do、uh, something like this, basically we need to transform a JSON dataset into a CSV. If you can do something like this, then you can easily make twenty dollars. Right, so here's the URL. So basically, we have a JSON data set, and from this data set, the key is going to be a state, and the values are going to be the cities belong to the state, which is going to be the key value. And here we have an example of what the output is going to look like. So basically, we need to transform the data set into this、uh, table format.、All、right. So let's look at how we can solve this problem. Now here in my Python script, I'm going to import three modules. So the first one is going to be the requests library, and to organize the fields from collections module, I'm going to import the name tuple function, and to export the dataset to a CSV file, I'm going to use pandas library for that. And if you don't have the library installed, you can use the command pip install pandas to install the package. Right, so here I'm going to grab this URL, which is going to be the data source. Right, so here I'll create a variable called URL, and I'll paste the URL here. Next, I'll construct my name tuple template, and I'll name the template state and city. Now, from the name tuple function, we're going to create the record template, and I'll name the record state city. And for the fields. We are going to have two fields, state, which is、uh, just going to be lowercase, and city. Now to load the data set, so we can use the requests library that gets, and we'll make the API call, and I'll name the output as response. All right, so here we can insert if condition. So here we can say if、uh, state code is other than two hundred. Then we can、uh, terminate this operation. So I can put a break right here. Otherwise, actually,、uh, we can't because、uh, this is not a loop. Now what I'll do here is I'll simply grab the JSON output and I'll store the output's data. And here I can insert track set block. And for the exception, I'll simply print the、uh, exception message. All right. So here, let me go ahead and run this code block, and I'll create the、uh, data object.、All、right. So if I go ahead and print the data object, we now have a dictionary. If I print the keys, now which key is going to represent each state? And to construct the actually not construct to transform the JSON dataset into this format right here. So what we need to do here is we can、uh, iterate each state first. So we can say for state in data dot keys, and to return the cities, we can say for city in data, and、we'll、provide the state as the key. Then we're going to Actually, here I forgot one more step. So here I'm going to create empty、uh, list, and we're going to store the records inside this、uh, results list. Now we can iterate the states and the cities, and construct the pairs, and we'll put that in the results list. Right. So here we need to use the append method. Then we can create the states and city record, and we'll provide the value state and City. Now, once we create the results list, here, let me go ahead and create the results、uh, list. Now, if I print results, we now have a list that contains a bunch of、uh, state city records. Now, what we can do here is we can create a data frame object. All right, so from PD dot data frame. And、we'll provide the results object. Now to export the dataset as a CSV file, we'll use the to CSV method. And for the file name, I'll name the file states 
3.csv and I'll ignore the index. Right, so this is going to be everything we need to write uh, to create a Python script. And this is going to be the solution to this uh, freelance problem. Now let me terminate this session and I'll go ahead and uh, plus F5 to run the script. Right, so let's take a look. Now here's the CSV file. And here's the result that we can deliver to this client. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.